Hi everybody and today I wanted to, to show you my November favourites. Now a lot of people like bigger YouTubers they have their beauty favourites which is like in the normal November favourites and then they have their non-beauty favourite videos and I just put all mine together because I don't actually have a lot of beauty products like new beauty products every month so I am just going to show you the ones I've been loving and there is only two beauty related <laughs> Uh, things, everything else are non beauty and food mainly. So, I'm gonna start off with makeup. Now, for that, I have cut well, they kind of go together my Rimmel London Wake Me Up concealer. And I've mentioned this in some videos before, but I've never talked about it in a favorite, I don't think. And I've heard I absolutely love the Wake Me Up foundation, and I thought this would be perfect to go with it. And I've heard good stuff about it from other YouTubers. So I picked it up in shade 10 Ivory and that is the lightest it goes, which to be honest I think could go one shade lighter, but yeah, it's really creamy and it's it's a great coverage. So really like that. I actually think my personal opinion I think it's better than the collection Last Imperfection concealer. And to use that when I blend it in, I like to use the Real Techniques setting brush and I bought this after hearing Lily Pebbles talk about it. She used it for a concealer and she said she loved it so I got it for that reason too. But on the website in the descriptions and stuff it said it's for like cream, highlighters and bronzer and contouring. But it's really good for a concealer. I wouldn't use it for anything else because it is a small brush. But yeah, I really like it to get it under my eyes and around my nose. Next I will talk about food, which is my next biggest category. And I want to talk about, I've been pretty obsessed with multiple lattes, whether that's from Starbucks or McDonald's. Because I started getting McDonald's lattes after these things. Because every time you get a hot drink, you get a sticker, and after you get six, you get a free lat a free hot drink. So I've just been to McDonald's and actually got my free one. I've started another card off. So I don't know. It just makes it a little bit funner than getting a normal drink. Favorite. I pretty much fangled when I found this in Tesco's, and it is Hershey Kisses. Because it's American sweet and you don't find them regularly in the UK. I found these in Tesco's and I didn't even look at the price until it was at the till. And it was £3 for a bag. You did get quite a few in them. And if you're not aware, they look like this. And they are American chocolate. And I think American chocolate tastes a lot like the UK advent calendar chocolate. So it, it, so it doesn't melt or something. But they are so cute. And I know these because Mac Barbie, uh, Bethany Motor, she talks about them a lot. Sorry, I've just had to cut the video off because some guy came with a delivery from my boyfriend, so get back. I think I was about to talk about the KFC Rolo Brownies. These are like four quid for a box, but they are incredible, literally. I am the biggest brownie fan Ever. and I think only my boyfriend understands my obsession but I love them they have like Rollo chocolate in which I don't actually like the Rollo but you can't taste it that much so yeah loving them films and so every week me and my boyfriend always go to Tesco's and buy a new film no matter if it's one he's choosing or if one I want to choose or it's one um, on Sky Demand and then we buy it up there but there's been two favourites this month and that is, the first one, is Melissa, I can't pronounce it, Melissa, I really struggle to pronounce that. Anyway, it is amazing. I really, when it was in cinema, I put off watching it because I thought it was going to be a bit dark and scary and, because the advert makes Angelina Jolie look like the baddie in it and she's really not, so spoiler there if you haven't seen it. But I can't believe I've waited so so long to watch it. After I talk about this with my friend Janice, we, she told me how it's not scary whatsoever. 
so I had to get it and oh my god the whole way through I could not stop looking at Angelina's contouring on her face I think she's the makeup and the costumes and it's all just so fairy tale-y and I absolutely love that I love Disney films and oh uh, I just love it. I've actually fallen in love with Angelina Jolie because of this video. What made it even more special is one of Angelina's um, actual daughters is in it. She is the girl, the girl when she was like a toddler age. So that made it all so much cuter when I found out. But anyway, Melissa Fent is, if you didn't know, it is Snow White. Is it? No, that's a lie, Sleeping Beauty. Because recently, they've all been bringing out Disney films and in, like, real people, humans and stuff. But they've always got a twist on it, and I absolutely love it. Because I never really liked Sleeping Beauty, because I was really scared of it. But this is just incredible. So, well done to whoever made it. <laughs> the next one is one just like it, Disney made into real humans. And it is Mirror Mirror. Mirror Mirror is Snow White. That's the one, yes. I don't know any of the people in it. I can't think of the girl's name. But I only actually only watched... I only watched it two days ago, maybe? Last weekend? I don't know. But it's really good. It was on TV and we recorded it. And it is just... So well done. The only thing I didn't like about it, I would say, is... The Seven Dwarfs. There is Seven Dwarfs, but... They're not sleepy, dopey, naughty, or whatever all the stuff are called. They're all just like normal kind of names. And I like them being sleepy and stuff, so. That is probably the only thing I would change. This is the evil one from... Because the main Well, one of the main characters who is the evil stepmother. Who is she? Oh, Julia Roberts. I absolutely love Julia Roberts. She's incredible in her makeup and... They do such a good job of playing the evil people, these girls. And the uh, main girl on it, I've just remembered, Lily Collins. So, yeah, I actually really like her in a lot of films. Next up, I will do clothing. And the first item is actually this cardigan that I'm wearing. It's new from Primark, and it was £10 reduced to £7. But from last Christmas, I had voucher at Primark, to, and I still hadn't spent it, so this is what I bought with it. I don't know if you can see, but it is just a really long cardigan, black cardigan. It's dead thick, and it's got these pockets, and I just really like it. And the next thing is, if you live in the UK, you know November has suddenly got really cold towards the end. So I have been loving my nude scarf. And I've had, this is from New Look, and I think I got it two years ago, maybe? And I absolutely love it. It goes with, like, all my outfits. It's so super cosy, and it, like pulls an outfit together because I wear a lot of blacks so it just adds a little something it's just so super cosy so also this is just my randoms now this one is a Glade candle and it is blackberry blackberry frost maybe it's a limited edition Christmas one to Glade and it's so pretty I, <sighs> I think I established that berry smells are my favourite because I absolutely love winterberry it's another candle that I have. I've only burnt it twice, I don't know if you can really see, but it's just, it's quite big too, and it was, it, they're supposed to be £4 I think, and it was reduced to £2, that's why we got it, but it's really nice. And last, no not lastly, one of the last ones is my mug, and it is a Santa mug of course, it's a 3D mug, and I wanted a 3D mug ever since I saw Bethany Motor have sort of it in her last year's video. I've never found one. I found this in Tesco's and it was only £2 and I love it and I have my hot chocolate in it and it makes me all festive and I love it, <laughs> if you didn't already get that. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is my favourite songs and there's quite a few actually. I've just recently downloaded a few and I'm absolutely loving about a thousand songs and there is Taylor Swift's Blank Spaces. Um, and the Selena Gomez's Do It 
and the hat works for what it wants. And at the beginning of the hat works what it wants by Selena, it she ta she's talking about like her heartache and stuff. And it actually really got me. It's so sad. Two of the songs I've been loving this month are both from One Direction. And the first is Night Changes, which was performed for the first time ever on Children in Need. And then after hearing that song, I went and downloaded it. And I absolutely love it. And the next one is Steal My Girl. Love that song. It's so catchy in tune and oh I actually haven't heard any from the new album anymore, but I have to get on to that. Of um and I think that that is it for me. Oh no it's not actually the last one for this month. It's only had it about two weeks now. But it is my new phone case and if you my last favourites I actually mentioned my um Morrissey's and Vogue cover. But I got a Christmassy one, I really wanted a Christmassy one. This was in Primark for three pounds and I love it. It is so short. And yeah, I really wanted like a 3D kind of one, and I, but I didn't want a huge 3D one because then they just look stupid. And this is just a small cute one. And the next thing is a recent app, and it is called OneNote. And oh, let me show you it. And it's by Microsoft, Microsoft Office, yeah. And it's all about like writing. It's just basically for an app. It's an app for notes, and you have. Quick notes, which is already on, and then there I have a to-do list, and then you get to add like your own parts to it. And I've got YouTube ideas in one, and I list upcoming YouTube videos and um, my planning for it and stuff. And you click on them, like my November favorites. I bullet pointed all my favorites, and yeah, it's dead handy. And I've got my blog ideas too. So. If you're a huge list writer, they definitely get OneNote. It is free for Android and iPhones and tablets. I think so, yeah. Anyway, just a disclaimer. Above, you will see my new banner. I think it should be on by now. And it was made for me by a lovely girl. The new banner was made to me by a girl called Corinne. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm really sorry if it's wrong. But I will put her link to her blog below and she does free blogs, free blog banners and YouTube banners. Yeah, and then it's just incredible. I love it and I'm really happy that it's turned out exactly how I told her what I wanted and she understood straight away and it was perfect. So yeah, if you want anything making like that, just go and ask her nicely. Thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it and come back next week for my sweater weather tag. Thanks guys, bye.